What is going on YouTube channel? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing some DIY how to become rich as fuck. <laughs> so today we're going to be making handcrafting our personal life and becoming a superior man. Sick intro. Anyways, for some reason, it feels like it's been so long since I recorded a video, even though it's been like a few days. Um, I guess it's because I've learned so much. I have actually a lot to say, and I might split this video in two, unless um, <clears throat> I get through it as fast as possible. So hopefully you can stick with it. So first again, like always, if you're a huge OG to the YouTube channel, you know I start off with my personal business, how it's going. Right now, the last few days, I've been brain fucking myself searching for products. And I think for hours and hours, I've been scrolling on a, like, a bunch of websites, on YouTube videos, on you know stores or whatever. Not only is my brain fried, I think I know every fucking product on the internet possible. <laughs> I'm not even joking. My, my, my mind has been completely shattered. But there's still more to be done. There's still more to be looked at. I need to make sure I scan the whole fucking internet before deciding to choose a handful of products to start this TikTok dropshipping journey. I know it's the hard part. I know it's an annoying part. Like, you know, it's annoying as fuck, you know? And I, I actually realized I find it harder to get to sit down and work. And the reason for that is because I have a limiting belief that this, these little tech, these little gadgets that I sell on TikTok, I, I don't believe they'll make me bank. I don't believe it, but I know it does. Like I have to, that's why actually later on in the video, I'm going to talk about how you need to destroy all personal opinions and emotions into your business, especially. So all my personal opinions, beliefs, destroy them. It, it does work. There's There's been proven over and over again that it works. I need to just tell myself to shut the fuck up and do the work. And that's about it. Um, again, still in the product searching phase. So nothing there to be said. Now... I want to talk to you about the sauce and I've mentioned the sauce before. I did get a few comments saying people wanted me to talk about the sauce, the books, the, the beautiful collection of books that I have. I don't know if you can see them, but I definitely, definitely read a decent amount of books. And so far, this is the sauce. And the book is called Reality Transurfing by Vadim Zeeland. I've actually searched the author up. It's the first author that doesn't look like a complete idiotic retard. He actually looks chill as fuck. But <laughs> it is honestly, I'm only, I'm only 60 pages deep in and it's fucking amazing. Now, I got recommended this book by a six-figure entrepreneur in e-commerce. Won't, won't name names, but he recommended this book. I started reading it and damn, 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 is it absolutely so far a G book. So let me give a quick context. Let's, let's try to keep this quick. So my favorite book before reading this one was The Power of the Subconscious Mind. This book by Joseph Mur Murphy is a G book. It is a G book. I I can't explain. Like, you have to be a certain type of person to really understand and make this book have an effect on your life. You have to be like very open-minded. You have to be in the right mindset. But when like, I, I just believe if you are that type of person to really acknowledge and absorb this type of information of your subconscious mind, some people don't believe in that shit, but it's very true. I believe so. And it definitely correlates directly to success. It's not just about, it's not some, you know, um, you pray to some, you know, meditate to some stone or some Hindu stuff. Like it's purely, purely 
the power of gone and subconscious mind directly to your success. Now, this book, again, like I said, was my favorite book until this one. I'm not, I'm only 60 pages in. I'm not going to say it's my favorite book. But what I want to say is that this reality transurfing book is this book on steroids. Now, not only is this Bible 800 pages, he explains everything. Very complex ideas. I always say this, but it's very complex ideas. But if I'm understanding them, that means they're explaining it very simply because I'm not, again, I'm no genius, right? So I'm taking another sip of my coffee, black coffee in the morning, always the best. To whoever says, uh, oh, you should wait through an hour to shut the fuck up. Okay. I need my coffee in the morning, bro. It gets me going, it gets me hard. Anyways, I wanted to try and explain to you. Hopefully the mic's getting me. I wanted to try to explain to you what I've read so far in the 60 pages. And again, the best way to understand what I'm talking about is to actually get the book yourself. Um, it's a very low key book. Like it's not some mainstream popular book. And that is why I love it. I love those low key books because a famous quote from Luke, Luke Belmar. If you buy the books that everyone has, you have no advantage compared to everyone else because you are reading and absorbing the same knowledge. But this is a very low key book. So I feel special that I'm reading it and I'm getting the knowledge. But hopefully, um, again, I'm saying this because it is a sauce and I only have 5k subs. So, you know, I recommend this book probably one <laughs> one person's actually going to buy it. So it won't saturate the book for sure. So I'm all worried. Um, again, it is very, very complex. Uh, how I'm going to explain this to you, I have no idea. I'm no some Albert Einstein genius. But look, I'm going to start off by saying that this book goes against the idea of that your fate, your life, is set in stone because with religion, especially and again, I'm religious. I'm a Christian. I love my man, Jesus, and I'm fully indulgent to that religion. I read the Bible almost every night, but some people get it mistaken where they have the idea that God has a set plan, set life for them. And they are slave to the life because they cannot change it. There's no freedom. But that is so false. That's so far from false. They obviously, if you get more and indulge yourself more into Christianity, they say that God gives you the free will, the free choice to be with him for eternal life or not. And that's, you know, hell or heaven. Right. So same thing with your own personal life. Now, maybe the idea here is that he opens up the idea that life is a bunch of lifelines bunch of different ways. I guess you can say alternate realities, right? And life is in the infinite plane of, let's say, an XY coordinate graph. You have a point here. That's a point in your life. Now you can make decisions, free will. You have the free will to make decisions. Every time you make a decision, you change that direction of your life event. Now, there are so many life events that could be good or bad, but the decisions that you make correlate with what lifeline you're going to happen. So basically, yes, God knows what's going to happen in your future, but he's so all powerful that he knows all the possible infinite events. So he knows, but you have the choice to not create your own life event, but to choose one that's already been made by God and choose one that you like the best. Right? So that's the basics out the way. Now, um, past that, we get into pendulums. Now, I don't know, maybe if no one knows what a pendulum is, search it up. It's the one things, the things that swing, right? And he states that everything in life is a pendulum from a single person from a group of organization to the government, social media, social media, the news network, they're all, all pendulums. And there's one, one main objective, only objective from the pendulum 
is to absorb your energy, either positive or negative, doesn't matter. I think I explained that to the, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm understanding. I'm trying to find, look, that's what it is. I think, I think that's what it is, okay? And now, in life, pendulums are mostly negative. They destroy you, they absorb your energy, and they drain you. Think about any, any meaningless job or any government structure or, again, news network. They all are negative and they seek your negativity. Now you have to... So now people would say, well, how do I beat a pendulum? And the short answer is because I got to the answer. It took the whole chapter. But at the ending, he states, you don't beat a pendulum. Everything in life is made of a pendulum, but you have to be free of pendulums, of other people's pendulums, and only follow the rules of your own personal pendulums. But still be aware that you're in the pendulum itself and do not be a slave to the energy draining pendulum. <laughs> Again, it's so complicated. I hope you're following along. I'm trying to I'm trying to go as quick and as efficient as possible. Um so you don't beat a pendulum but you become free from negative pendulums because they think about a pendulum like okay wait no let me let me let me erase that you have to beat a pendulum by ignoring it not avoiding it ignoring it so there's a difference now let me tell you the difference so let's say because he states in the book the more you hate something and the more you try to you put energy into hating it and try to ignore it, the more it comes. So let's say for an example, you hate apples. There's gonna be more apples in your life. And that's because of frequencies. It's like a radio where you tune the frequencies. The, the more you, you tune your frequency to what you hate, the more it will come back to you. So, how do you. so you're saying, how do I get rid of this pendulum? How do I get rid of this shit that I hate? And how do I become free? So, the best thing to do is ignore it. So basically what you, ignoring is, it's different from avoiding is ignoring is when you acknowledge that the thing that you hate is there. You acknowledge it, but you just ignore it. You don't give any attention. You don't give any emotions and you ignore it and pretend like it's not even there. But you accept it in a way where it's like, this is necessary. This evil that is being deemed upon me is necessary. But it doesn't matter to me. I have no emotions attached to it, no opinions. I just ignore it. And the best way to explain it is like a dog, okay? The dog has one simple objective, just like the pendulum. It is to gain your attention and gain your energy. It barks at you. Now, if you run away, because like, like avoiding it, if you run away, it's going to chase you. Chase you a fucking hog till the ends of the earth. And now if you stand up and fight against it, if you stand like, yo, what's up, dog? What you going to do about it, you know? Then it's going to bark and chase you and attack you. There's no winning in those situations. The best thing to do is to just avoid it. Don't even make eye contact with it. Just walk by it. Maybe just, you know, take a little glance, acknowledge it, and, and make the dog know that you acknowledge it, and just walk away. And you realize... The dog might bark for a bit, bit, bit. Oh, fuck, it's not giving me attention. Now let me try to get someone else. Let me get some other sucker that's going to give me attention. That's exactly how the pendulum works. You have to be, f you have to personally be free from all these pendulums. And I guess it's kind of more of your personal situation where you avoid it and make the pendulum attack someone else type thing. I think that's the best I can explain it. It is so complicated, but again... I, I truly believe if you absorb and acknowledge and actually implement the shit that he says or in any of these books, I feel like a lot of people, they read for, uh, they read as it's like, um, like a, a rule or they're forcing themselves to read. I love reading. I've been, I've loved reading since I was a little kid, since before even 10 years old. Call me a nerd. Whatever fuck you want, I love reading. I make sure, 
make sure it's not even a word. I just read an hour a day because I enjoy it. Like it's a priority in my life. So it's inevitable that I read an hour a day. There, it's very like there's few occasions where I miss. I can probably count on my hands how many times I've missed reading in a day for like the last two years. I love reading. But the thing about reading is that a lot of people, first choosing the books is actually very important. Let me start off with step one. Choosing books is actually very, very important. Because you can you can read, like I said, the classic mainstream books and you might not get a lot. And there's a lot of books that take, um, talk about a simple, you know, statement, theory, ideology, and they take a fucking full book to explain it where it's like, I could have just understood this ideology in probably 10 pages. So make sure to choose the books properly. That's why, you know, uh, book recommend recommendations are so popular nowadays because people are trying to get the best books. And I understand that. Also, when you read, don't just read, like try to literally acknowledge it. If that means to reread the page, that means to reread the sentence. Does that mean to slow down, search up things that you don't understand? Do it. Like, don't waste your time. Like, if you're going to read something, try to fucking actually gain knowledge from the book. It's not a race. You know, I hate when people say, oh, I've read 30 books in a year. Okay, I don't give a fuck, bro. I probably read five, but I gained more knowledge than you and your 30 books. Like, it doesn't matter. The whole point of a book is to get value from the book. It's not about how many books you read. It's not a competition. We're not uh, skimming through it and saying, haha, I finished an 800-page book in uh, 10 days. Like, you know, that's not the point. But, um... This is a definitely a good book recommendation. I, I'm telling you, man, it is so good. And look, I'm only, you can see, I'm only at page 60. But I just love these books. It could be a personal preference. I know someone that, I know people that could read this book and, and it didn't impact them. And that's fine. I really think you, you have to be in a certain mindset. I'm not going to say right. You have to be in a certain mindset to make this book really impact you. And it's really amazing. But I think um, I think this book will definitely, definitely directly impact my success for my business. That's why I bring it up today. Because I do plan on implementing this stuff that I read to my success. And, and again, maybe some people might see it as some voodoo, magical, mystical things. But it's all about belief at the end of the day. I believe this shit works. I believe it's out there, it's possible. I don't think this world is so mundane, you know? So, um, that's about it. I hope, uh, I don't even know the time. I hope this video is not that long. And I hope I explained it too properly. But again, if you really wanna know the true power of this book, obviously go buy it yourself. Um, I gain, I gain no, I gain nothing from you buying. I don't have some referral links. I'm, affiliate link. I actually just truly believe this book's valuable and I want to give that value to you. Again, that's all I got to say, bro. Honestly, that's all I got to say. Life's, life's good. I feel like life's changing and there's so many factors on why life is changing. This book is definitely one of them, but um, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I always love leaving on a, a good note on these videos because it, it leads off with positivity throughout the rest of the day and uh, absolutely love it. So again, please make sure if you really like these videos, I want to take the time to ask for uh, a like and subscribe, comment again below your personal life, your life lessons, what you, your book recommend, anything, anything. I love reading your comments. Please make sure to share and I'm, um, it would be very, very much appreciated and I'd be very grateful if you can share this video, subscribe if you haven't, share it with your friends, make sure they subscribe too. And again, I just plan on giving value through these videos and the more successful I become, the more value I give to these videos and I feel the value coming. I feel success coming. And that's why I want as many people on board to help as many people as possible. And I'm just rambling on, rambling on. <laughs> Anyways, keep working hard like always, and I'll see you at the top.